Hello guys, Harshu this side. Welcome back once again. We delve into a captivating tale where our heroine finds herself in a whirlwind of attention, yet seeks solace in a few trusted allies. Within the walls of a juvenile detention center, she forms unexpected bonds with the warden and local gang leader. This is the 2014 movie Jailbait. So without wasting any time, let's recap the movie. At the beginning of the movie, Anna is playing the tello in her bedroom. Her stepfather walks into the room. The man sits down on the bed near the girl. She stops playing. The stepfather takes Anna's cello. He slaps her in the face. The man wants Anna to be a good girl and please him, but the heroine pushes the man away with her legs. He hurts himself badly and falls to the floor. After a while, Anna is sent under investigation for involuntary manslaughter. In court, she tells her version of events. Anna's mother, Darlene, says that her husband had never taken liberties with her daughter. The girl is sentenced to four years in a juvenile colony together with other girls. Anna is taken to the prison. The inmates greet the newcomers with enthusiasm. The prison staff examines the women, then they are given prison clothes and introduced to the warden, Frank Barragon. The girls are assigned to cells. Anna is placed with Jenny, the girl who is reading a book on the bed. The neighbor does not answer any of the heroine's questions. In the morning, Guinea watches the sleeping heroine. She finds the girl attractive. Guinea releases the tension. Anna wakes up to the sounds the neighbor girl is making. Later, the women are taken out for a walk in the yard. Separated from the group of inmates is Cody. She comes over to meet the heroine. Anna is intimidated by her new acquaintance's intensity. She walks away. In the mess hall, they run into each other again. The woman offers the newcomer friendship and protection. Cody says a lot of people were already looking at Anna's pretty face. The inmate points to Keela. The girl politely declines Cody's offer. However, Cody warns that the heroine's act would have consequences. She trips her. Anna falls to the floor, dropping the tray with her lunch. Later, the girl stands outside the restroom. She is attacked by Cody and her friends. The women teach her a lesson. In the restroom, there was a blind spot for the cameras. When Anna regains consciousness, she visits the nurse's station. The warden asks the girl about what had happened, but the heroine remains silent. Nurse Jane examines the girl's bruises. She advises Anna to go to Frank for help. Anna takes the kind woman's advice. She goes to the supervisor to talk about what had happened in the restroom. The man tells her about the delights of solitary confinement. He looks at the heroine's file. Frank decides that the girl could participate in the talent show of their prison. The warden offers Anna a mutually beneficial relationship. The heroine ignores the man's hints. In the cell, Guinea is waiting for Anna. The girl asks her neighbor about the visit to Frank. Guinea tells the newcomer about herself. She had been in prison for five years. Guinea kisses the neighbor. The girls decide to relax. Guinea helps the neighbor relieve her tension. The next day, the prisoners are taught grammar. Anna is led into the classroom. Gila is looking at her intently. During the walk, she comes up to talk to the heroine. Anna ends up getting hit in the head with a ball. Guinea is watching what is happening on the playground. Anna decides to talk to Cody. Joe gets in the heroine's way. The girls start to fight. The guard stops the fight and threatens the prisoners with a baton. Cody approaches Anna. Joe is against their conversation, but Cody thinks the new girl is not dangerous. The girls step back to socialize. Cody says that the heroine has to prove that she is worthy of being in the gang. The guard interrupts their conversation, ordering the prisoners to go to lunch. After a while, the girls gather in the cell. Cody treats the new girl to a special drink. She comes up with a challenge for Anna. The heroine has to provoke Keela into a fight. Anna goes to the common room. The girl tries to push her but gets kicked in the face and falls to the floor. Cody films the fight on her phone. Security guards separate the girls. Anna is taken to the holding cell. She is asked to undress and locked in the cell. After a while, the girl is brought to the warden's office. Frank says that the heroine must please him. Otherwise, he would return her to solitary confinement. Anna is forced to agree. Afterward, the girl vomits in the shower. New friends consult the heroine. She gets a tattoo on her forearm. Cody offers Anna to share the pleasure with her, which would help to relax. The heroine tells her friend about how her life had changed over the month. Cody promises to protect Anna. She likes her friend's smile. The girls decide to relax, but they couldn't get a release. The warders called a halt as the girls were getting dressed. Joe walks into the cell. She is not happy that Cody and the new girl are getting along. The warden kicks Anna out of the girl's cell. On visitation day, Anna has a visitor. The girl is sitting at a table in the common room. 
She watches Keela quarreling with someone. The heroine is surprised when she sees her mother. The woman is still convinced that Anna had hurt her stepfather on purpose. Darlene thinks her husband is a good man. Anna tells her mother that she and her stepfather had a special relationship. The woman hits her daughter. A security guard gives her a warning. Anna is angry at her mother for not acting. Darlene knew from the beginning what was going on. The woman turns a blind eye to it. The heroine asks that her mother not come to her anymore. The girl tells everything to her new friends. Cody supports the heroine. Suddenly, Kyla tries to attack Anna. The girl reacts quickly and does not let herself be attacked. A fight breaks out. The guards separate the prisoners. Anna is taken to the warden's office. Frank closes the offender of the heroine for two weeks in the punishment cell. The man offers her a chance to relax. He wants to get to know the heroine better. After their seclusion, the girl showers again. In the cell, Anna behaves aggressively. She hits Guinea but immediately asks for forgiveness from her neighbor. When the prisoners are examined by the wardens, they notice a bruise on Ginny's lip. The girl says she had bitten her lip. The guard takes Anna to the warden. Frank sits the girl at his desk. The man gives her a massage. After meeting with the boss, the heroine goes to stipulate with Cody. The girl no longer trusts her. They have a fight. Anna goes for a walk. She hooks up with a neighbor. G, who does not want to communicate with the heroine. Then Anna goes to Camille's. She wants to relax. Cody finds out about what Anna had done. She gets angry with the girl. No longer is the heroine protected by her friend. While Anna is taking a shower, Keela decides to get even with her. The girl enters the shower room with her gang. Kayla beats up the heroine. Anna goes to the nurse's station. The nurse is worried about the girl's condition. The next day, Anna finds Camille. A new friend helps her to relax. Memories come over Anna. The girl lies down to rest on the playground. The heroine makes herself another tattoo on her arm. She begins to communicate often with Camille. In the cell, Anna throws up. G suggests that she see a drug counselor. That woman had once helped G get rid of her addiction. Anna is rude to her neighbor and leaves. The heroine goes down to the common room. She sees Kayla and decides to let off steam. A fight breaks out. The guards use tranquilizers to calm the prisoners. They put the heroine in a holding cell. The warden decides to help her. In the cell, Anna is vomiting again. Cody comes to the heroine to bring her to her senses, but the girl does not want to listen to her friend. Cody leaves. Guinea supports her neighbor. She puts Anna on the bed and helps her to relieve her tension. Guinea wants to help her neighbor deal with her addiction. However, it is difficult for Anna to keep herself under control. She goes to Camille's place again for a dose of happiness. Cody watches her friend. She interrupts her. Anna throws a tantrum. The guards order the prisoners to get on the ground. The heroine threatens the warden with her life. The man tries to calm the girl down. Frank comes onto the set. He wants to help the heroine, but Anna knows the price of his help. The man offers her solitary confinement for a month. The girl is neutralized and closed in solitary confinement. The heroine asks to let her out, but no one comes. After a while, the guards bring her food and escort her to the shower. She tries to talk to one of them while she is bathing, but the man orders her to shut up. Afterwards, she is taken back to her cell. The time for the heroine is endless. One day, she breaks the tray on which food is brought to her and hurts herself. A guard notices the girl's body and calls for a medic. Anna wakes up strapped in a chair. She has a mask on her face. Dr. Han enters the room. The heroine is sent to her ward. The doctor asks the girl a few questions and removes her mask. Anna convinces the woman that in fact she didn't mean to harm herself. The heroine is sent to rehabilitation. The nurse recognizes the girl. Jane uncuffs her and sits down to talk. The woman shows her what happens to those who ruin their lives every day for a sip of happiness. Anna doesn't want that fate. In the next scene, the heroine is resting in the common room. One of the prisoners falls ill. The guard takes her out of the hall. During the night, Anna's neighbor has a seizure. It makes an impression on the girl. Later in the afternoon, she sits in the hall and thinks about her life. A nurse comes over to support her. Anna asks to see her mother. A short time later, the woman comes to visit her daughter. Darlene apologizes to Anna. She promises to go to the conservatory with her when the girl gets out of jail. The woman decides to talk to a lawyer later to get the girl released early. The warden summons Anna to his office. He says that he will remember the girl during her time in the colony. No one except the heroine was able to leave a mark on the man's face. Anna apologizes and asks for his protection. The girl is brought back to her cell. 
the heroine tries to get rid of her tattoos. Guinea starts talking to her roommate. Anna wants to know why the girl went to jail. Guinea pats Anna's cheeks. The next day, the heroine is eating in the dining hall. At a neighboring table sits Cody and her gang. The girls pelt Anna with food. Kayla approaches the heroine to pick a fight. As Anna is mopping the floor, a female security guard approaches her. She takes the girl to Frank. The man has prepared a cell for the heroine. He wants the prisoner to prepare for the talent show. Anna cries. Frank suggests that the girl play. The next day, Anna is sitting on the set. Some girl throws her a threatening note. Anna doesn't know who exactly was threatening her. In the evening, the girls from Cody's gang catch up with her. Her friend is angry with Anna. The girls beat her up, cut her face, and step on her toes so she couldn't play the cello. At the nurse's station, Frank visits the heroine. He promises that Cody will pay for what she had done. The nurse notices the attention the supervisor girl. paid to the girl. When the man leaves, Anna goes over to talk to Jane. She is afraid the nurse wouldn't believe her, but the woman does. She promises to help the heroine. Frank watches the women's conversation through a video camera in his office. He fakes the accident on the stairs. The inmates push Jane down and beat her. The guard helps the nurse. The woman comes to the warden's office. Fred pretends he had nothing to do with the incident. Jane realizes the man was lying. When the nurse leaves, Frank orders her to finish with her. The woman is attacked in the locker room. Anna sees what happens to Jane. The girl is taken to the supervisor's office. Fred tries to convince the heroine that the nurse was destroyed by jealous Cody. A short time later, a talent show is held in the prison. The inmates are having fun. Anna takes the stage. The girl is going to play the cello. The warden likes her number. After the event, he gives the girl a cell. The man kisses the girl and says he put her on the schedule for parole. Frank suggests that the heroine undress. He wants to have fun with the girl on stage. In the cell, Anna tells the news to her neighbor. G advises her not to trust Frank. In the next scene, Jane and Anna are cleaning up the hall. Cody's gang wants to tease the girl. A security guard interrupts them. In the shower room, Kayla's gang attacks the new girl. Anna watches. Later, the warden gives the heroine a letter from the court. The girl is scheduled for a court hearing. In the next scene, Anna catches up with Cody and Joe on the stairs. The girl has Frank's plan. Cody gives her friend her cell phone and wishes her luck. During the night, Anna has a dream. She and her boss are having fun. Frank notices that the girl is filming everything on camera. Anna is put in the electric chair. In the morning, she goes to the man's office. He wants the beauty to please him. The girl fulfills all Frank's wishes to get a good recommendation. On the appointed day, a meeting is held on Anna's case. The commission questions the girl about everything. The heroine tells that she regretted and Frank also spoke at the meeting. At first, he praised the girl, but then he said about the fact that Anna has problems with the law and it is impossible to let her out. The chairman wanted to refuse the girl. The heroine stopped the man. She showed the tape from Cody's cell phone. The chairman took the phone. Frank approached the man. He wanted to take the phone with the video the girl had taken. The guard led the inmate out of the gym. The chairman asked the officer to detain Frank as the warden was let out. The inmates cheered his arrest. Anna was scheduled for an additional hearing. The board approved the heroine's parole. Anna said goodbye to her roommate and thanked her for her support. On her way out, she met Cody. The girl asked Anna for forgiveness. The guard led the heroine out of prison at Freedom. Anna was met by her mother. With this movie ends here. Thanks for watching till the end. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel to watch latest and interesting videos.